Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested integral, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity, ln of one plus x squared plus x to the power of four plus x to the power of six over one plus x to the power of 60x. For this integral, we'll be coming up with more well-known integral and generalize it and plug it in what we have to get the value of this. So first, I'll be calling this integral as the i. And about this argument. So let me just factor out the numerator and denominator. So first of all, the numerator, 1 plus x squared plus x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 6. We can factor this out as 1 plus x squared, parenthesis, that times 1 plus x to the power of 4. About the denominator, 1 plus x to the power of 6. This could be factored out as 1 plus x squared, Parenthesis, we have x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1. So both the numerator and denominator, they have 1 plus x squared that we can cancel out. So your integral i is the same as integral from 0 to infinity of ln. After canceling this out, then we have 1 plus x to the power of 4. That over x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1. Then we have dx. So like I said, I'll be coming a bit more well in integral. Let me call this as just a j, right? So let me call the integral j as integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have ln of both the numerator and denominator in the form of this denominator part, right? So for this, we have x to the power of 4 uh, plus ax squared plus 1 over x to the power of 4 plus bx squared plus 1, and then we have dx, where both a and b should be greater than negative 2. And eventually at the end, we'll be plugging in the values of a and b from our case. But before that, let's get derivative of j with respect to the a and also with respect to the b. So dj over dA. This is going to be now integral from 0 to infinity of just x squared over x to the power of 4 plus ax squared plus 1 dx. And if you get dj over db, derivative of j with respect to b. And we should pull negative sign out because now b is on your denominator. And that of integral from 0 to infinity, then we have x squared, the same, over x squared plus bx plus 1 dx. And about these integrals, we have well-known integral. Let me just call that as the k of, say, c. And then this is in the form of integral from 0 to infinity of x squared over x to the power of 4 plus, say, cx squared plus 1 and dx. And if you let x to 1 over x, then we can rewrite this k of c as integral still from 0 to infinity of 1 over x to the power of 4 and then plus cx squared plus 1, and then we have dx. And if you work this out, then we'll eventually get our tangent form. So first, this has to be the same as, uh, let me pull 1 over 2 out. 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity, and then of 1 plus x squared over x to the power of 4 plus cx squared plus 1, and dx. And if you're thinking about this integral, It is the arctangent form, right? So this part has to be just the same as 1 over square root of the c plus 2, the times arctangent of square root of c plus 2 times x, that over uh, 1 minus x squared. Okay, then we're evaluating integral on the interval from 0 to 1. And from 1 to infinity. We can just check. 
when your x is going to 0 from the right, then that expression is now going to 0. And when x is going to 1 from the left, then the expression is going to infinity. And when x is going to 1 from the right, then that expression should be going to negative infinity. So they're both is giving plus or minus pi over 2. And lastly, when x is going to infinity, then this expression is now going to 0. So using this, we can talk about this integral in the form uh, from 0 to infinity of 1 plus x squared over x to the power of 4 plus cx squared plus 1 dx. Okay, then this has to be just the same as 1 over square root of c plus 2. And that times, let me make a bracket. Since we have plus or minus pi over 2, so inside of the bracket, we should have pi over 2. And then minus 0. And plus 0. And minus, and minus pi over 2. So that's why making a calculation for this, it is just the same as pi over square root of c plus 2. So using this, this k of c, we can just say this is going to be the same as 1 over 2 times pi over square root of c plus 2. So this is just the same as pi over 2 times square root of c plus 2. Okay, then going back to this dj over dA, dj over dB. So we can just talk about dj over dA. This is then going to be just the same as pi over 2 times, instead of the c, we have now a, right? So square root of a plus 2. And for dj over db, this is the same as the negative pi over, now instead of the c, we have now then the b, right? So we have then 2 times square root of b plus 2. So that is why this j of a and b that we came up with, right? This is going to be the same as then uh, pi, let me pull the pi and make a parenthesis. Square root of a plus 2. And then minus square root of b plus 2. In our case, a has to be 0, and then b has to be negative 1, right? So in our case, a is 0, b is negative 1. And if you plug it in 0 to a, negative 1 to b, that is this integral i that we are looking for, right? So the integral i that we are looking for has to be then j of 0 and negative 1. Then this is going to be the same as pi times, okay, square root of 0 plus 2 minus square root of negative 1 plus 2. Making a calculation for this, then we should end up with pi times, Okay, make a parenthesis, square root of 2 minus 1. So pi times square root of 2 minus 1 was the answer for this integral. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer-suggested integral. How amazing.